what is going on my YouTube people? This is Gavin Asty here again with you for another video and today I wanted to change things up a little bit and just have a little bit of a change of pace. I had recently just picked up Star Wars Battlefront and I've just been playing this game a bit and having some fun with it so I wanted to bring you guys some gameplay of that and I was playing on the map Battle of Jakku which was like the free DLC for all the Star Wars Battlefront players and I was playing on the game mode Turning Point and I just had an absolutely amazing game just tore people apart I went 58 and 8 so I wanted to bring that gameplay to you guys and just show you guys uh, this game a little bit um, because I haven't really had a Star Wars Battlefront game in a long time since the beta and I had recently just saw the movie and uh, the new Star Wars movie and I was just absolutely blown away and it was just an amazing experience going and seeing that movie and just being able to play this game and I'm not a big Star Wars guy you know I was a little hesitant about this game just getting it in general up until the beta because like I said I'm not a big Star Wars fan I don't really watch or get into Star Wars that much but I definitely had a lot of fun both seeing the movie and playing the game so I, that's what this video is gonna be just about is kind of my little my uh, thoughts on uh, Battlefront and that sort of thing so I'm gonna let you guys enjoy the gameplay and I'll get it more into the topic so basically my thoughts on Battlefront one thing that I noticed right off the bat is this game is a lot better when you play it in third person I was just able to smack people around so much easier in third person because you have that ability to kind of peek around corners and just kind of see where the enemies are gonna be coming from before you know they even notice you and that's what you'll see in this gameplay I just I use the corners a lot to my advantage and just the whole third person but again this game is just is just absolutely amazing aesthetically like they did so much for this game just everything looks so freaking amazing all the graphics the first game I got into I was just like holy shit you know I was just looking around just to look at how beautiful everything looked I was playing on one of the jungle maps I don't recall the name of it but I was just looking at all the detail of the branches and the leaves and, you know, even some of the destruction when you knock over some of the trees is just absolutely amazing. And, but then that kind of gets into some of the problems that Battlefront has, which is, you know, the lack of content. That's kind of the big thing and uh, what a lot of people are worried about is this game just looks amazing and it plays out really, really good. But there seems to be kind of like that lack of content, as I was saying, where it's just not enough maps not enough you know customization aside for you know a couple cool things for the rebel side and even the stormtroopers it's only like two really cool customization things for aesthetics but you know overall i did very much enjoy this game and like i said i was pretty worried because i'm not a big star wars fan but i don't think dice let us down at all they got the huge uh scale maps with a bunch of people is just so much fun and I, I very much enjoyed this game. And another thing is this blaster that I'm using here in the gameplay, I just found out is, to me, it feels like the most OP gun ever. So there's an LMG style blaster that you kind of get earlier on. And it was also in the beta. I don't remember the name of it. But it was just basically this blaster that I'm using in the gameplay is like that on steroids. It has almost identical stats, except it has higher damage and a higher range. So, I mean... It kind of defeats the purpose of having that other blaster because you still get this one that I'm using now at a very low level because I only got up to like level 6 and I've already had this blaster and I just found it to be so amazing I was just absolutely tearing people apart but nonetheless I still very much enjoyed this game and I think that a lot of you guys should go and try it out if you haven't already and that also leads into the topic of just 2015 has just been absolute amazing for like first person shooters and just shooter games in general we've had so many cool games so far going back to you know even Battlefield Hardline and then we have Black Ops 3 is just absolutely amazing a lot of people are loving that Rainbow Six Siege a game I did not think that I would fall in love with I just happened to absolutely fall in love with but I mean I'll save that topic for another video I do want to get into what I think was the best uh, FPS of 2015 I'll save that for another video sometime soon but just coming back to Battlefront, and uh, it's just a game that I've had so much fun. I played the beta a lot. Like, I've had a lot of hours put into that beta, um, and I just, I really enjoyed it. And then when this game, you know, came out, I wasn't able to get it right off the bat just from lack of having money to go and get it. But once I got it here the other day, I just, I wasn't really disappointed at all. I just played it. I, I even got to test out some of the other game modes, like the flight I think it's called flight squadron where you can just use like some of the you know iconic aircraft from uh, Star Wars and then just you know basically like air superiority from Battlefield 4 but with Star Wars version so it was really cool a lot of fun I suck at it so I didn't really enjoy it as I'm sure most other people might 
But, um, you know, it was still a lot of fun, and I think they do have some variety to this game. I just think they're going to... We're just going to have to see when it comes to DLC and what kind of extra stuff they add. I think the Battle of Jakku was just absolutely awesome that they did that free for everybody. Uh, I was able to get this right off the bat, but so far it's only one game mode. So it's only this turning point, which is similar to Rush, but just a lot of fun. But, I mean, again, lack of content. There's not all the game modes on it. You're just playing one over and over again, and it can get kind of boring. But, um, again, you know, just this game is just a lot of fun to me, and I just think that you guys should go give it a try if you're a Star Wars fan. You're be definitely be very happy with this game, and just even kind of a Battlefield fan, it's a lot of fun. I like the fact that the blasters, you know, have unlimited ammo. It's a, it's a cool little feature. You just have to worry about overheating your gun. But um, it just has a lot of cool features, and I never played any of the older Battlefronts, but, um, you know, I tried this out, and I really enjoy it. So if you like Star Wars or if you're a big Battlefield fan, I think you guys will definitely enjoy this game. So if you don't have it, uh, give it a try. It'll be a good game to be getting this Christmas season. Um, I definitely think it, it is worth it, but that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, leave a like. Leave a comment down below what you think is your favorite uh, FPS game in 2015. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. As usual, you guys have a good one. Peace.